guys welcome back okay so today I created a bit of a rainbow cut crease um it's not like super duper bright or one where maybe you feel like you can't wear out at least in my opinion but I did want to play around with some color today if you watch my shop my stash you know that I wanted to play with some of my pigments this month so I did pull some of my pigments that I got from sample beauty and this is what we have. <laughs> so yeah, I did go ahead and use some of my shop my stash items. So if you want to kind of hear my thoughts or opinions, first impression on some of these items, then you will hear that in today's video. But like I said, this is the look that I created today using some pigments. So if you're kind of curious about how to use pigments or how I like to use pigments, what's the easiest way for me to do it, then stay tuned because I'm doing this full face in this video today. I am going to do a voiceover. The pigments that I used, I used four different pigments from Sample Beauty. I'll go ahead and insert a clip here because I do have them open and you know they can get really messy and stuff when you try to hold them up and show them. So these are the pigments that I used today. As you can see, I did the yellow, the orange, the purple, and the blue. And I had a lot of fun. Now with pigments, they're not everybody's cup of tea for sure because you kind of have to take your time. They can get messy and, you know, it's really kind of a process. At least for me it is. And since when I do my eye makeup, I'm kind of like in an artistic mode. It's something that's kind of relaxing and enjoyable for me. So like I said, everybody doesn't like to work with pigments. I do. So in this video, that's what I'm doing. So if you'd like to see how I created this look today, stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, guys. So before we get started, I am going to prep my lids with my Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer. As you can see, I'm just tapping it all over my lid and blending it out with a dense blending brush. So to start out my crease work, I'm using my Viseart, it's the Neutral Mattes Palette, going into that black. But I decided to go ahead and use some tape today because I want to make sure I have a nice, clean line. So I'm just taking that black shade from the Viseart Palette and just gently blending that in my crease. I'm taking my time building it up because I'm not that familiar with this palette, so I didn't know how aggressive the black would be, but... It was very easy for me to just gently build it up to the darkness that I wanted. So now I'm going into the taupe shade and just using that to blend out the edge of that black. Once again, taking my time using a more dense blending brush just to blend out that edge because I want a nice seamless gradient up into my brow bone area. I don't want that harsh black to just stop. So I'm also going to blend out that gray and I'm just going into this very light brown shade. It's basically like a skin tone shade for me and I'm just using kind of like a small pointed fluffy brush to direct that just above that gray. Now to clean off my lid I'm just using a wet wipe <laughs> and my finger. I didn't really feel like going in with makeup remover and a q-tip today so just kind of being lazy. Now I'm going back in with that Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer because I found that this primer actually works very nice as a base for these pigments. They stick to it nicely and they're easy to blend together on this type of base. Now I'm starting out with the yellow. Now these pigments I did get from Sample Beauty which I purchased on, what is it, Beauty Bay? And... So I did pick up quite a few of these pigments. As you can see, I'm just tapping that yellow on top of that Fenty Beauty base. And it's gripping onto it very, very nicely. So next I'm going into the orange. And this shadow actually had some really tiny micro glitters in it. You can't really see it unless you get up close. But yeah, it does. It has like teeny tiny... <laughs> sequin micro glitters in there it's very pretty and I'm just blending that into that yellow so next to that I'm taking this purple shade and just tapping it onto that base 
gently blending the edge of that into that orange. And I'm just taking my time. Of course, the video is sped up, but I'm really taking my time with these, making sure they're blended nicely together. So lastly, I'm going into the blue. And of course, <laughs> this is my favorite color. As you guys can see, it is so vibrant. I just love pigments for that reason alone is because they're so bold and vibrant and they really show up nicely on the lid. So just tapping that on and blending it into that purple. Now removing the tape, you can see how nice and sharp that line is. So moving on to the face, I'm using my Revolution and this is the Strawberry Whip face primer that I picked out for this month or for the next couple of weeks, I should say. This primer feels really nice. I definitely feel like it did kind of blur out my skin a bit, fill in my pores a little bit. And I think it gave me a very nice even base to work with. So I'm still using my Essence Camouflage Concealer for my dark circles, as well as my hyperpigmentation around my face. And I don't know if I'll ever stop using this, you guys. It is really really nice it just works well for me and right now i'm loving it so you know and you can't beat it i mean it's so affordable as well now this is my first time trying out this l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation i did not know it was this runny <laughs> so i had initially planned on using a sponge but decided a brush would be better since it is so runny and as you can see, I feel like I picked a really good color match for me. I will list, it, list everything down in the description box so you can see the shades and colors that I use for everything. But I feel like I really, really like this foundation. Just first impression, a little bit does go a long way. You do not need a lot, in my opinion, of, for this foundation. It's like some serious coverage. So let's move on to concealer. I'm trying out this Kaja Don't Settle Concealer. I think it's a very nice brightening shade for me. Um, the formula is a little bit thinner than I'm used to. And because of that, I expected it to kind of just disappear. But honestly, I feel like even with using a sponge, it still gave a nice amount of brightening coverage in those highlighted areas. So... So far, first impression with this concealer is a good first impression. I don't have any complaints. We'll see how it holds up. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm finally using my ColourPop sponges, you guys. I totally forgot to use them last month. <laughs> They're actually very nice. So to set those highlighted areas, I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Fresh Setting Powder. This is the one where you twist it and you get fresh powder that grinds off every time you twist it. Very, very cool. I'm just using a brush to lightly tap some of this powder. I like to kind of get a feel for a powder first before I use it with a sponge. And this powder is actually quite nice. I feel like I do need to use it a few more times just to really see how I feel about it though but it worked out nice so this is the l'oreal infallible fresh wear powder foundation i decided to go ahead and pair this with the liquid foundation and just kind of give myself a little bit of extra coverage but also see how it sets just as a setting powder as well i really like this color i have the color sienna and i think it works out really nicely with this foundation for me and it looks really smooth really smooth so for my bronzer I'm going in with my morphe glamour bronze in the shade phenom I already know I love this bronzer <laughs> I've loved it ever since I first tried it and I still love it today you know sometimes you use things and you don't feel the same way about it no this bronzer I still feel the same way about it I love it I think it is perfect for my skin tone it's easily buildable. It doesn't get on a hand and I just really like it <laughs> a lot. So for my blush, you guys know I really wanted to try out this Revolution 
vintage lace blush palette and i quickly saw that this is a beautiful glowy blush very glowy if you don't like glowy blushes you won't like this <laughs> so i loved it actually as soon as i put it on i knew i wasn't putting on a highlighter with this because it's already glowy and i felt like the color was just really really pretty if you're not into this type of thing you know then you know you won't really care for it but if you like to kind of show out sometimes like I do, then you'll probably like it. So for my lower lash line, I'm using my Profusion Cobalt Blue Liner. I wanted to add that bold, bright pop of blue on that lower lash line. And this pencil definitely does it every time. And to make it pop even more, I'm taking just a little bit of that pigment that I used and just smoking out my lower lash line even more with that blue got to be careful though because it will get all over your face <laughs> so i decided to go in with this little single shadow that i was sent from ditto i think when i placed an order they sent it to me free so wanted to try it out and i quickly had wished that i didn't use it just because i didn't feel like the color went well with my eye look i would have preferred to use like a gold tone but it's fine so as you can see, I have on my lashes and mascara. <laughs> and for my lips, I wanted a seriously nude lip. So I'm just taking this Ofra lip liner in the shade Chestnut, lining my lips with that. And then I'm going to go in with my ColourPop and Shayla lipstick in the shade Quickie. This is a very, very light lipstick. So I only use it when I want to do like a bright nude lip. And I just kind of blend that in with my lip liner and top it off with a nice gloss. So today I'm using my Maybelline Lifter Gloss and it just works really, really well when you're trying to create just a basic, really light nude lip. So as you can see, this is the lip that it creates and I think it goes perfectly with a bold eye look. This is the outcome from using the pigments today. I really like it. I think it's a rainbow eye look you can wear if you want to wear color, but for it not to be too aggressive. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!